So I had a little bit of a snafu. Uh, this was supposed to be a video that you guys were going to watch. Um, in between the video you were about to see and the previous video where I did a rainbow experiment on the letter Z, which um, I can also show you the dried result of that, which is right here. Um, I do like how it came out. It's just a little darker than I had hoped for. So, um, which is why I started experimenting with some other paints. Um, so I did this pour and in the end, obviously I splashed some silicone on it. Uh, I'll show you the before silicone. Here is the after silicone. And there was a whole video about it and my whole process on it. And somehow I deleted it. <laughs> so you don't get to watch it. Um, which is probably fine. I mean, do you really need to watch three videos of me doing rainbows? Probably not because... Um, in all honesty, my next video is probably going to be me doing a rainbow on the actual wooden piece. And spoiler alert, I bought some of those Master's Touch ready-made acrylics tonight. Because they were 50% off on Black Friday. And so, um, I think I'm going to give those a try. So, um, that video will probably be coming up. But anyway, I wanted to show this because I did think it really came out really cool and um, I thought the cells were really cool. So uh, this is the video that I kind of reference. Um, I used the same paints, um, which I did explain in this video <laughs> that you're not going to get to see. Um, but I briefly touched upon it in the video you're about to watch. Um, they're folk art um, multi-surface. And so I had every single color, um, was standard except for, uh, I did not have an orange. So I made a custom orange out of, um, this apple red and daffodil yellow. So I just mixed the two together. Um, all my paints were mixed with a tiny bit of Floetrol and water to get to, Kind of a thicker consistency and that's how I made the paints for this painting and that's how I made the paints for the painting you're about to see in this upcoming video um, so yeah hi guys I am back to my um, experimenting with rainbows and so today I have a canvas panel um, this is a, what is this? 8 by 16 canvas panel. And what I did is I just traced out the actual O, which is what I'm trying to cover. I'm going to try kind of what I did yesterday. Um, well, I don't know if it's yesterday, depending on what order I'm actually posting these videos in. But, um, in my world, <laughs> it was yesterday, uh, where I... Um, did all the colors my thought is maybe I'll do all the colors except I'm not going to put the white in between I'm going to just put all the colors one on top of another in a rainbow try it out on this one and instead of trying to do a ring I think I'm just going to sort of jiggle it around and if that doesn't look like what I want it to be, then I'm going to try this side. And I'm just going to try the primary colors. The red, yellow, blue. And these, again, are the uh, folk art paints. The multi-surface satin finish mixed with flow trawl and water. So, um, I'm going to start with red this time. I don't know why. Yesterday I started with purple.
So here we go. I don't want to pour that too much. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pour the same colors in my cup because I think I think that's what I want. <laughs> Obviously when I'm painting on the wood, um, it's going to be a little bit different, but I'm going to probably have to like come in a little with that purple and then go back out. I think, I think the jiggle board is going to be the way to go. Maybe it was the ring that was screwing me up and maybe it was the white that was the problem. Um, either way. I'll be able to give this go on the wood next. Maybe give it a try. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm happy. Um, now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this canvas. Ready? That's a lot, but that's okay. It was an experiment and it was fun. So there you go. That's all you can ask for. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, <laughs> we'll see how it dries. And uh, yeah, I think I'll wait and show you how this one dries. <laughs> <laughs>